Editing has been my job for three years now. And if I were to start over again, I would tell myself this one thing. Editing takes a bunch of time and it can even be boring. But in this video, I will go over three essential tricks to edit way faster. I'm fast as fuck, boy. So trick number one, you need to learn how to use keyboard shortcuts religiously. You know when you're on YouTube watching some boring part of a video and you decide to change the speed to 2x? Well, you can actually do that inside of your favorite editing software. I'm sure we have all had that itch to just watch it one more time before you export it, just to make sure that you're not leaking anything. Well, with only one keyboard click inside of Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, we can change the speed to 2x or even 4x. So let me demonstrate this. Well, it's nothing fancy actually. All you have to do is press L on your keyboard and the more times you press it, the faster the speed will become. And if you need it to be slower, just press J. Now moving on to trick number two, this is a game changer. You need to learn how to use AI to speed up your work. And we will be using this website called Submagic. Now I'm not sponsored, but if you want to use this website, you can actually use the link in my description to get some pretty nice benefits. But we are going to be creating this video here in only two minutes inside of the software. So let's go. Who thinks this is amateur? Who thinks this is professional? And immediately, within a millisecond, people can tell, oh, this looks professional. You're gonna be shocked. So just drag and drop your footage into Submagic, select your language and then press upload and you're like 90% done. Now, once you're inside, you can start by customizing the different styles that you want. On the left side, you can see there's a bunch of different caption styles. I'm going to be choosing the Ali one because we are working with some Ali Abdal footage. And just like that, you have instantly added his style of captions with only a button click. And the great thing that you can choose a lot of different ones. So for example, the Devin Jato uh, captions, which is, you know, really popular on my channel. Uh, but yeah, once you have found uh, the the caption style that you like you can also add b-rolls and if you guys know what b-rolls is it's basically just footage that is complementing uh, what you're saying so let's press the magic b-roll button here and let's see what the ai create you guys can see now it automatically adds b-roll on top of your footage but i think it's a bit too much i'm going to be adding some manually it's pretty simple you just search up whatever b-roll you want and then just press apply and just like that you are done so i would really just recommend just putting this into your workflow because this is just a game changer. I mean, if you're a video editor, you understand. And the last secret is a tip to not lag inside of Premiere Pro. You know when your timeline shows this red line above and it just feels really laggy when you're trying to watch it through. It's not a smooth ride, but if you render your effects into out and watch it again, all of the playback will be much, much smoother and it will be a much more gentle experience. <laughs> 